unafungua Matthew chapter 11 Mathayo 11 um, in my days katika siku zangu would even uh, tell you where it is tungewaambia hata mahali ilipo i would uh, be able to say tungeweza kusema it is in page 1486 ukurasa wa 1106 because the bibles were standardized those days kwa sababu biblia zilikuwa sawa siku hizo but now there are many now we are reading because of time tunasoma kwa sababu ya muda now it came to pass ikaja kupita when jesus finished commanding his 12 disciples Wakati. that he departed from there to teach and to preach in their cities and when john had and John had heard in prison about the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples and said to him, are you, are you the coming one or do we look for another? Jesus answered and said to them, go and tell John the things which you hear and see. The blind see. And the rim work, the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he who is not offended because of me. Praise the Lord. You can sit down, and I ask you to go and lead up to verse 19, Unaweza which time kuketi. will allow na utakuuliza usome mpaka mstari wa 19 baadaye um I'll, uh, because of time and uh, to be fast I'll ask my dear sister please just let me speak in Kiswahili and uh, Karajin and uh, all the languages <laughs> thank you so much can you give a, a very big hand clap together uh, before I continue I want to appreciate our apostolic fathers very much um ambao wamenituma Ni vizuri kujua tunawa baba ambao wanawapenda sana, 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 sana. Uh, Simuwapigie makofi. Uh, our general fasia uh, ambao ni Bishop Makariuki. Our general uh, our secretary Bishop Masinde. And indeed uh, Bishop Masinde organizes us to come to this praise. And they send uh, their greetings. And uh, I really appreciate the leadership here, all of you pastors that are here and the leaders that are here. To find you this way with our members, I just want to say I'm so blessed. So please receive our, our appreciation and greetings from Deliverance Church Thika. Uh, indeed, that is also your home. Um, uh, also stand here with great acknowledgement of our departed father because... He was so close to me. If you hear 1987, I was here. Uh, he came to find me all the way in Sigol. Uh, those days, 1987. And so he's a man that has also been in my house. And uh, indeed, a great man that uh, I have ever loved. But the Lord is good. Everybody say, the Lord is good. If you are indeed with me, I like heading my message. Even if you don't get much, but my message so my message today, if you are writing, and it's very good to write, is being not offended, being not offended. Because in this life, offense can come. So even as we begin this morning, I want to let you know that every day we do rise. In our morning, one, we wake up before the Lord. But many times when we wake up in the morning, we wake up to behold the familiar things that are around us. The people that we live with, the praises that we are, our daily expect, uh, experiences, expect, expectation. And so you wake up in the morning, you just say, well, I'll take a cup of tea, I'll see my wife, I'll see my children, I'll go to my office. Those are the normal things that indeed we wake up to see every day that we wake up. But I would say, my brothers and my sisters, we ought to know that each day we do not wake up in the presence of the families or friends underlying that. Very important. Even when you see people around us, which is very important, 
we do not wake up in the presence of our families or friends or houses or work, but indeed greatly and later in the presence of the Lord every day and every moment of our lives. If you sleep, wake up tomorrow trusting that indeed you will be in the very presence of the Lord. Somebody say amen. amen. The Bible says in Psalms 118, indeed I call this one of the old verses that we didn't know. Psalms 118 and verses 24. Those who are in the studio, I know they are doing that for us. The Bible says, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Praise the Lord. So every day we wake up. There are many things if we woke up in the familiar expectation that may make not us not to rejoice. Can I say it again? If we wake up in the normalcy of the day, we can wake up a day to try to kwamuka usiku, ama asubui, alafu kute mambo yale about tunayaona hayawezi kutuletea furaha. You are getting what I'm really saying. In verse 25, which is sometimes we don't read it, of the same, Psalms 118, verse 25 says, Save now, I pray, O Lord, O Lord. Listen again. Save now, I pray. In other words, we wake up in a moment, and even that moment we wake up, we would ask the Lord to save us. And then he says, down there the Bible says, Send now prosperity. Somebody say with me, my Father, my God, every day of my life, may I wake up in your presence, send salvation, and prosper me in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So every day we wake up, my brothers and my sisters, we wake up to experience whatever we may experience. But I want to let you know in that moment, God still sent his salvation and his prosperity towards us. Now you know, God never intended at any one particular moment for us to dwell outside his presence. Can I say it again? Mungu hakudhania na hakupangia ati siku moja tutamuka tujikute hatuko katika uwepo wake. Tangia hapo mwanzo hata katika shamba la Eden Mungu mwenyewe aliamua kuwa anatembelea binadamu kila nyakati ya maisha yake. Hallelujah. So man does not wake up just in a praise. He ought to wake up in his very presence. I normally tell people if I turn around in the night and for whatever reason may make me to wake up at about 2 o'clock or whatever time. Where? And I find that I have seen this bread. I have learned not even to stand. When I come out of bed, I have learned not to stand, but to slide out of my bed and to kneel down and tell, them, tell God, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So you don't just lash, maybe for that biological you know, need. You just, first of all, tell God, thank God, I'm here. Somebody say amen. amen. In the presence of the Lord, my brothers and my sisters, that is where we need to. And that's why, where we can be able to do exploits, counting his goodness and his faithfulness. Counting his goodness and his faithfulness. Somebody say amen. amen. In First Samuel chapter 12, verse 22, very fast, the Bible says, for the Lord will not forsake his people underline that. Very important. Everybody say with me, the Lord will not forsake me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Our church, uh, Deliverance Church, Vision Tapping Center, the Lord will not forsake us. Somebody say amen. amen. For the Lord will not forsake his people, not because so much about his people, but because of his great name. Each one of us, we have a name. But if there is a name that is above every other name, that name, God cannot forsake that name. Now I came to tell you, God will not forsake you. Not because of so much about yourself, 
but because of him. You know, many times in our life, we look at the mirror, tunangalia katika kio, tunajona sisi wenyewe. Lakini vema ukisimama ujiangalie kwa mira. Ni hafadhari ukose kujiona. Haa, tumeimba ubo mzuri sana hapa. Mimi nipungue, ye hafanya nini? Ah, yes. And I pray that all people, kila mtu angia muka, siku za maisha yake ajiangalie, aweze kuona mungu. Tumeona watu wengi, sini kweli. Situ sasa tuko na miaka mingi. Mimi ni meona Rais Kenyatta. Ni kaona Rais Moi. Ni kaona Rais Kibaki. Ni meona Uhuru. Ni meona Ruto. Situko kwa jamani. Ah, lakini sasa tukitembea tembea huku hatuoni Rais Kenyatta. Hatuoni Rais Moi. Hatuoni Rais nani. Oh, kama ulikuwa uta, unafikia utamuka, uone mtu fulani ambao ulikuwa unategemea. Jina kubwa, hilo jina kubwa huishi, huishia. Lakini tuna jina kubwa. Hilo jina tuamuka kila siku kwa sababu ya lile jina. Mtu aseme amen. Lafu anasema hivi. Because it has pleased the Lord to make up, to make us, to make you, to make you, to make you his people. Hold yourself on your way. Sema, mimi ni mtu wa mungu. Oh yes. Mtu wa Mungu sio tu pastor wako, at the man of God. Who are you yourself? Hallelujah. Hata leo jioni ukienda nyumbani katika lango la nyumba yako, sisimame hapa useme nakwambia hii nyumba mtu wa Mungu anaingia. Amuka uende katika biashara yako, useme mtu wa Mungu anaingia. Sio vema jamani tutembee kilicho na kuingineko kama tu raia. Sisi sio raia. Mtu aseme sisi sio laia. Hallelujah. Bwana wetu our God is never far from us. He is in us or rather we are in him. Can I say it again? Mungu wetu si ati hata hako na pamoja nasi. Sisi tuko ndani yake. Sisi tuko exposed. Na hiyo kwa kitu kinaitangwa exposed. Ah ndugu mmoja kanisani wa Kora aliingia kwake eh anajua akakutwa iko wakati unalala una vile ulizaliwa na mama eh alafu huyo mkora anaingia na kukuta kuwa exposed kuna mtoto wa Mungu anakuanga exposed kwa sababu Mungu mwenyewe ameamua sisi kuwa ndani yake na ye kuwa ndani yetu are we together my brothers and my sister kila nyakati tunapoamka tunatafuta uwepo wa Mungu Kumbuka ujube wangu do not be offended. Tunaamka tukiwa katika uwepo wa Mungu. Praise the Lord. In Acts chapter 17 very fast 27 and 28. The Bible says that they should seek the Lord we ourselves. If haply they might feel after him and find him. Yaani Mungu ayuko mbali tunaamka tukimtafuta Mungu. Angalawa wapendwa Eh tumkubatie tumpapase tumpate Alafu anasema though he be not far from every one of us kila mtu aseme Mungu hayuko mbali Sema tena Unajua ile kitu ambao mimi upenda katika Biblia hii ni vile ambao haiko mbali iko pamoja nasi Mama yangu hakuenda shule angeshika hii Biblia hakujua isipokuwa iko iwe iko na picha Ah, hakujua kama kitabu kinashikwa na mnai. Lakini alimjua Mungu. Mama mbo hakwenda shule, alimjua Mungu. Na kuja kukwambia ya kuwa Mungu wako hayuko mbali na wewe. Hayuko ngambo? Hayuko juu mbinguni uulize Mungu wetu wako mbali gani? Mungu ako mahali ambapo wewe uko. Biblia inasema mstari wa 25. For in him we live. Hallelujah and move and have our being as certain also of your poets have said for we are also his offspring najua wao naitwa mtoto wa arab so and so mimi naitwa mtoto wa mbatia lakini saidi ya kuitwa mtoto wa mbatia mimi naitwa mtoto wa jehova anga hilo mmeketi na yeye mwambie wewe unaitwa mtoto wa jehova watu wamekusoya kukuita arab so and so Sema tena mimi naitwa mtoto wa Jehova. 
Unajua shida ndio ninakwambia familia umezaliwa kule sasa ulijua tu ile familiarity you are the son of so and so kwetu ni kericho kwetu ni wapi hapana Hallelujah Tuna Mungu ambao anatupenda Mungu ambao ni rafiki wetu Mungu ambao sisi ni vizazi vyake DNA hii yetu ni ya Mungu Tuko na tuko pamoja Watu kama ningepotea watu watafute chemechembe zangu wanatakuwa pate chemechembe za mwili wangu ya kuwa ni Yehova. Oh yes. Did you hear what I'm saying? They find that this is God. I pray mimi naomba ya kuwa hiyo iwe ndani yetu. John 15:15 15, the Bible says henceforth listen again himself anasema kuanzia leo. Si mtu afanye video bishop anasema sema kuanzia leo. Oh yes. Kuanzia leo I call you not what servants I love this I serve God not as a servant he doesn't call me a servant What does the Bible say I do not call you what a servant No longer do I call you servant for servant does not know what his master is doing Mnasema vile anasema Kuna mambo ambayo utendeka wale ambao ni watumwa hawajui lakini sisi twajua yale ambao yanatendeka kule juu mbinguni and then he says but i have called you friends for all things that i have heard from my father i have made known to you mungu atembea na watu ambao hasijafahamisha mambo you know i was here during the burial of our father baka saa za kuzikwa mimi mlisikia wewe utazikwa vile tunafikiria baba alisema saa tisa. hiyo ni mtu wa Mungu wewe ni mtu wa nani uliza mtu unapata anga report kutoka wapi where do you get your report from and i love that I keep on saying god mimi sitaki kukuva tu hivi ambao nimejisahau siku yangu ikifika si Mungu niende tu nilale kama baba nikatae kuamka Anyway nimejipanga mambo kadha. Simpigie bwana wetu makofi. Hallelujah. So Mungu ni rafiki. Sisi tuliba samani. What a friend we have in Jesus. Oh yes. What a friend we have in Jesus. Somebody say amen. amen. Psalm 65 verse 4. Please go with me very fast. Biblia inasema hivi. Psalm 65 verse 4. Very fast. Listen to what the Bible says. Blessed is the man whom you choosest. Oh yes. Blessed is the man you choose and cause to approach you that he may dwell in your courts. He shall be satisfied with goodness of your house. Are you reading with together with me? Of your holy temple or your holy presence. Hallelujah. How many are chosen of God? I want to let you know there is a place where we dwell. There is a place where you we move, we do things. It is in the presence of the Lord. The Lord has chosen us. Somebody hold yourself say the Lord has chosen me. You know there are many times you want people to choose you. But you know there is joy when the Lord chooses you. Amen. Hallelujah. If you look at uh, Bishop Bata many times I wish you could be staying in Hika. Come on, you watch as one who is chosen. Huh? You know you, you know if you are a girl and you are we are all girls of the Lord, he has proposed to us. Huh? We walk around knowing he has chosen us. Vision tapping center and all of us that are listen to us. We are chosen of God to dwell in his temple. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We know When we live in this world, this world that we are living. Huh? We are blessed. We have blessed hope. But there's something I want to say. There are times we may get offended even in the faith. We get offended even in the faith. There are moments I don't know whether you are like me and you can really be sometimes a little offended. You know I was in the university of Nairobi. Thank you Our dear sister, daughters of the chair lady of everything. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you yourself, me, some of us, 
I got saved as a young boy, nine years. I went to the University of Nairobi. I don't know what happened when I landed there. I was doing veterinary medicine. Jamani, unafanya mutihani. I did my first year. Nika pata ni meanguka. Unafikiri nilicheka? Hmm? Niko na supplementary first year. Eh? Iyo ni kumanisha mwaka wetu huwezi kuendelea. Nikaenda mwaka wa pili. Supplementary ingine inakuja. Muto na cheka na iyo. Nikaenda mwaka wa tatu. Supplementary ingine inakuja. Nikaenda mwaka wa ine wakati wetu. Ilikuwa miaka ine vetu na remedi. Nisikuizi ni miaka tano. Nikapata supplementary ingine inakuja. Najua hata zaile nilikuwa naenda kuchukua resort zangu. Nilikuwa na msichana nilikuwa ni meambia ni tamuwa. Na ya likuwa shapu. Na ya likuwa shapu. Na ya likuwa shapu. Naona hii karatasi nitafungua tena ama nitafanya namna gani? Ninajaribu ku, ku, kupenyesha kwa jua. Nione vile imeandikwa pale. Ah, nikasoma. Ananiambia please open, open, open. And when I opened, indeed there was pass and there was fail and fail. Everybody hear this. Though we are thus, we wake up and sometimes you can say, wow, am I going to still to believe in this God? I know one guy who failed the exams. And he said, you cannot be telling us there is a God in heaven. And then I failed the exams. And because he thought one of our sisters is the one who had promised him so much about the passing of the exams, he took time to go and be waiting, kind of way, laying our sister at the door of her room. So we made sure that uh, we are signed to be going and being together with our sister. Lest this man does any harm. Are you getting what I'm going to say? And there's so many people because of what they experience in life. They have abandoned the faith. Did you get what I'm saying? They have done what? Abandoned the faith. When we read about the man of God, John the Baptist. Who is like John the Baptist? John the Baptist was utterly loyal to Jesus. Very loyal to Jesus. He walked a life of total self-denial. He had nothing. He had given himself to God. Indeed, like the father of this church. But you know I know him. I normally say I know him more than all of you. 1987. Wow, that was a long time ago. Huh? Whenever you'd come around, think I said, Tanda Kwambatia, Nabuja Tuna. Very recently, we were with him in a meet- meeting in Vika. But you know, people who are loyal and faithful. Are you getting what I'm saying? John the Baptist was loyal. He was faithful. He gave everything up for his God. Everything up for his God. There are some people when you look around, they may not have much. They say they are going to serve God. They purpose to serve God. And I'm not here to say when you serve God, you have nothing. No, 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 no. You can see the way I am. Say, I'm okay. Oh, yes. But this man find himself in a cold prison. In a cold prison. Now when you're in that cold prison, what do you think you're really thinking about? But I want to let you know as I return to you, where is our dwelling place? We dwell in the presence of the Lord, whether we are outside prison or we are inside a prison. We dwell in the presence of God at every particular moment of our lives. Simu tuasema amen. Tunaishi katika uwepo wa mungu. Lakini hata tuwe ndadi ya njera ama tuwe inje ya njera. Tu njera, tuko mahala fulani ambao tunaka. Ili uweze kujua makazi ya mungu vile ambavyo ilivyo. We must do three things. Everybody do say three things. Number one, very fast. Lazima tuwe macho yetu ya kiroho inafunguliwa. Eh, spiritual eyes are open. Number two, our spiritual ears indeed can hear in that prison. And I want to say that that thing, our spiritual hearts are also open to conceive what is the Lord saying in this situation. Didn't I come to tell you to let you know kila mahala na nyakati za maisha fungua macho yako ya kiroho. Fungua masikio yako ya kiroho. Roho yako ya kiroho uweze kutafakari na kujua yale ambao mungu anayivyo sema. Kwa pasipo kuwa na haya, ndugu yangu utaumia. You'll be offended. You'll be asking God many questions. Like the way the servant of the Lord John would have asked. 
1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 the Bible says but it's written 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 very fast but it's written I have not seen nor ear heard neither have entered in the heart of man the things which the hallelujah the things which God has prepared for them that love him everybody hear this the life we live maisha ambayo tunaishi ni maisha ya kiroho tuseme pamoja maisha yetu ni maisha hallelujah Indeed, spiritual things are the real, the real thing not physical things physical things pass away our life is in the spirit and the more we need to understand what are these things meaning in the spirit one of the things that i enjoy in prayer my brothers and my sisters mimi kati naomba naomba nikiomba sio kwa sababu itaweza kuambia mungu i need this baba fanya hii nataka tu 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 to skip to fikiria kidogo hata ukituona tukiomba sio kwa sababu tunapitia garika fulani ninaomba tujue tunapoomba kusudi la maombi sio kwa sababu sisi hatuna najua watu wengi wakiona tukiomba wanasema ah these guys are miserable everybody say i pray i am not a beggar do like this say i am not a beggar prayer is not about indeed begging at least tutaanza kuuliza na tukiuliza baba yetu anatupa si ni kweli jamani lakini saidi hata ya kuuliza maombi ni kutuleta katika uwepo wa Mungu tunasimama mbele za Mungu tunasikia Mungu anasema nini kuhusu maisha yetu this particular time what is the lord saying now when you pray you rise to a place where i normally say you rise to the prophetic prophetic level even in this church of ours and all of us that are listening to me, to us and myself may you rise to the prophetic level of hearing what the lord is saying now when you rise at that level number two, you must not only remain there you come down here and indeed allow us to know and to see what the lord has said we do you move apostolically can i do what i must do i release the prophetic anointing upon you I release the apostolic anointing upon you. This church. What are these things that say? This church, the father of this church is an apostle. You know what is an, an apostle? An apostle is like an army man. Moving. I love what you told us Reverend. That even when our father was so tired, he was a soldier. Come on, we must go and preach. Even when things are so hard, even when I don't feel like doing it. He was not dwelling in his sickness. He was not dwelling in his age. He was dwelling in who he was supposed to be. And I have come with the word of God. Somebody say bishop has come with the word of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. I came today if you don't forget do not get offended what have happened. If my father could stand here, he would look at you and say what are you doing? Come on keep on moving. Vision tapping church. You must keep on moving. Are you getting what I'm really saying? Yes. He would be wondering why are you mourning don't you know where we were supposed to go? Keep on moving. Somebody say we shall keep on moving in Jesus name. <laughs> Hallelujah. Say again keep on moving because of the in Jesus name. Because of time. I'm just about there. John. The one we are reading was so bewildered. He felt forsaken. He felt abandoned. He needed a confirmation. He needed a confirmation. Lakini angalia vile Mungu Yesu anamjibu. Twende pale pamoja tunapo karibu kufika tamati. Yesu anakuja na ulizo maswali mengi. Kila mtu aseme maswali mengi. Unajua kuna watu wanakaanga na maswali mengi sana. Oh, why did it happen? Oh, I did exams. Why did I fail? Oh, why did you cannot be in the presence of the lord then you are of a lot of question are you getting what i'm saying everybody say it's our time to rise up when of course jesus christ wa john wamekuja kwake pale china nasema are you the are you are you the coming one or do we look for another what did jesus say jesus 
answered and said to them, Go and tell John the things you hear and see and all those things that are there. And by the way, he never sent them with a message to tell John you are coming out of prison. Have you ever read anywhere? He never told John. John wanted to hear, Ah, bana, siwezi kuwa ni mefanya mungu. Hapa mi ni memko jia mfalme ya kuje. Alafu mi niko prison. Jishike hapa hivi kidogo. Sema katika maisha ni mwangu. Mungu ako pamoja nami. Nitaishi maisha. Ya kumutu mainia. No matter what happens. I will keep on abounding. So Jesus said him, go and take John. Na vile ni naona vile John anauliza hiyo maswali ni mtu ambao anataka kukasirika. Kila mtu afanye hivyo sema sikasiriki. Sema tena kwa sauti. Hey, yes. John anakaa kama anataka kukasirika. Mm. Yes anamwambia endo mwambie Yohana yale ambao anatendeka na juu ya yote. Vipofu wanaona waliokufa na maskini wanasikia injili. Mimi nimekuja hapa katika Vision Tapping Center kusema jamani tuamuke watu wazidi kusikia injiri yake Kristo Yesu. Yesu akasema as they departed if that is the joy of it as they departed Jesus Christ spoke began to say to the multitude concerning who concerning John the Baptist. Do you have many questions? You may not know even so much about yourself. But it's Jesus who starts saying, I love this what he says. He says, what did you go into the wilderness to see? For example, Vision Bat is here. You know, I can come here to see. How are you looking? Are you looking miserable? Are you mourning? Vision Tapping Center. So that I can take a message back. Iyo kanisa imepigika. Hiyo kanisa inaisha. Tuko pamoja jamani. Everybody say, what did you go to see? Yes. You can also ask me, Bishop, when you find our fathers, what did you tell them? I have a good story. Everybody say, I have a good story. Oh yes, I have what? A good story. And Jesus asked some things. He said, when, when, what did you go to see in Kericho? A reed shaken in the wind. Yani kakitu koi goi. What did you go to see? Everybody say, what did you go to see? Yeah. yeah. But what did you go to see? A man clothed in soft garments. What did you go to see? A man clothed with soft garments. Indeed, those who wear soft clothing are in the king's houses. But this isn't what the word of God is saying. Did you go to see how they are really arranged? But they say, yes, I said to you. All those things together, everybody say, all those things together. But I love what he says. Yes, I said to you, and more than a prophet. Everybody say, more than a church. What did you go to see? Everybody say, more than a church. People may want to hear about the way you have been divorced the way you have been separated, the way you have failed, but more than what they have come to see. Somebody say, I am more than what people have thought about me. So he says, yes, I said to you, and more than a prophet, for this is of him who, whom it was written. Listen, my message is still, do not be offended. Everybody say, do not be offended. Did you know there are so many things about you that nobody has read. There are so many things about your family, your sons and your daughter. My, my dear sister, senior sister there, she says, Wow, ni mimi na simama hapa na kofia. Muze wako ake kuwa. Iko vitabu vyako ambo alikuwa hajasoma. Mimi ni mekuja kusema hivi. Hata kama katika maisha ni mwako, kuna ukurasa mwingine ambo haujasomwa. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you getting what I'm listening? There is much more to us. Amen. So he says, this he says, yes, I see to you and more. 
than a prophet. For this is of whom that is written. Everybody says, yeah, there is something written of me. Jishike hapa kidogo kama unaamini kama bishop but kama yule mama. He? He something. Uko na kofia. Hapa angalia. Hebu simama kidogo. Hakuna mwingine. Nani alisema hapa kutainjua mtu ako na kofia? Hebu simama piki yako. Hii mlimuona hapa tu akiwa chia charede tu, charede tu. Nani alijua atakuja kanisani na kofia ambao amevaa amevaa. Are you getting what I'm really saying? Did you know there is so much for vision center that we have not had? People have not seen. It's a moment for us to live to be lifted. Another chapter of our lives. Somebody say another chapter of our lives. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hebu sikiza, Yesu anasema kwa Yohana verse 11, na matisia. Assuredly I say to you, among those born, yani wa mama wa meza. Nirudie tena. Hey, mama wetu la santeni mmeza among those born of what of women there has no treason one greater than John the Baptist no one has risen greater than John the Baptist but i want to end by a very wonderful moment of our lord jesus christ he says there is no one you know There are moment my brothers when we suffer we go through the same thing we deal with think the same thing but you know we become so denied that every time the world is waiting for somebody else to be born somebody hold yourself here say this is my time for something extra even in my family everybody look at me you know say la mama wetu alipata watoto watoto wa mama wetu hapo anapima watoto ati katoto kamoja kama sisi wawili wa mama wetu alikuwa nazaa na wakizao walikuwa nasema angalawa kamoja katakitokelezea kamoja kamoja katokrezi vision tapping center moja atoroke atoke pale kazini pale nyumbani kwenu nyumbani alafu baba yako mama yako akuona aseme gai gai ni mungu huyo ndio nilikuwa ninagojea na mama zetu walikuwa nasema tuzaliwa tukue tu wengi angalawa kamoja out of this then mama yangu alizaa tisa na baba yangu alikuwa na wake wawili tulikuwa 20 lakini wanaomba kamoja hawa 20 kamoja katokele zi hawa ni watu ambao jamani ninapoangalia huu naomba Sipuje tu hatukirizi kwenu nyumbani kazi ni mwako katika biashara katika Kenya hii Sipata Kenya tunaomba Moja tu atukirizi atukirizi jambo fulani litendeke katika nchi yetu na katika mambo yetu Jishike hapa sema ni mimi Sema na malingo Ni watu mnakaa waangwana sana sema na malingo sema ni mimi Sema vile fanya vile bishop badi anasema sema ni mimi Nijua zile nilikuwa naanguka mitaani. Nilikuwa natoka pande moja ya university mpaka ile nyingine. Nilikuwa ninaimba I got confidence. God gonna see me through no matter what the case may be. I know. Tapping center. See what we can listen what say me. We got confidence no matter what the case may be. Somebody hold me here say we know. Taka za ile tutakutana na baba yetu kule binguni siku hizo. Eh? Najua mimi ni mzee kuliko wengine wenu. Tukutane na baba mapema nikiwa 120 years. Na naangalia hapa tapping center. Tunataka tu ah tukuji. Sasa tumeona kuna kitu kikubwa ambacho kilisababika kule kilicho. Nirudie tena. Kule kilicho kuna kitu kubwa ambacho kimesababika. Kweni nyumbani. Sijui ni wangapi hapa anasema kwetu nyumbani mimi nataka kuwa tofauti. Baba yangu alipata wengi hata kama ulizaliwa peke yako. Kwenu kazini biashara yako imekuwa kawaida. Nani huyu anasema kuna mmoja ambao ni mkubwa kuliko Yohana Mbatizaji? Biblia inasema hivi Yesu akasema hivi. But he who is rich in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. Now those who are greater in the kingdom of God, 
There are those who believe whether there is drought or not. At the Sasa to Nasema finance team. We have finance. We need a finance team. We have a finance bill. At the way to go, pale pale, we have to work on our own. Finance bill. Kitu gani? Jishikiri hapa sema finance bill. Kitu gani? Well, Siki sema finance bill. Kitu gani? The finance bill. So we are here. Hapa no one have vision. Maono i baba to a sema maono. Jishiki hapa sema, finance bill kitu gani? Ati kwenu kuna wajia maskini. Sema, maskini ya kwetu na mna gani? Siwe ni mtoto wa ufalme. Wengine wetu mga ni tutu unaka hapa, ati tumeshikwa na mapepo ya kwetu na laana za kwetu. Bishop Mbati, sorry, Bishop Mbati is not the, like that. Every time I speak to you, I can see you have a cash. Your father and your mother. He who the son sets free. How many are set free? You don't keep on running everywhere. There is a curse here every time. You, that is why we are creating shakaora. Because you don't believe that you have been, been, been delivered. You are the rich in the kingdom. But you are the greatest in Jesus name. Somebody say amen. amen. I want to ask who is there? Who is saying? I have heard the word of God in that brief moment. And I'm rising where I am. Rise if you can. Rise if where you can. You're saying, I am rising different from my mother's house. From my mother, who, who, mother's womb, all of us came. But there is one greater than even the one that was born of my mother. It is me. It is me. You're not going to be offended because of the drought. Yes, thank you for those who are standing. You know, sometimes some people you have to keep on persuading them to stand. Bishop Bartlett does not persuade. I'm not excited about so many who stand. I am excited by the one who have heard the word of God. You are standing and you are saying, yes, in my mothers, in my fathers, in Kenya. Yes, thank you for those who are standing. Hallelujah. Keep on doing it. Hallelujah. Stand where you, not you. If you don't want to stand, keep on there. Become ordinary, born of ordinary women. Those who are standing... I'll do something, because I like people responding. As much as may be, it is not possible to come. But try to come as closer as you can to this altar. As closer as you can. At least leave your seat and just keep on coming. Your bag is safe. Keep on coming. I can see God lifting some people here. I can see some people being changed. Don't go away. Just come and just stand here. Don't go back. If you come, just come and stand here. I will pray for you in a very brief moment. In a very brief moment. Just stand. If you are coming, just stand here. Amen. Jesus said, but he who's, who is rich in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. That is the one who believes. Irrespective of whatever has happened, what happens in my life, the name of Jesus. Keep on coming. Those who are coming, I'm saying you come to the altar. Just come around this altar. It's very important. This altar is lifted for something special. At least this is why this altar is here. It's for you to believe, receive the word of the Lord today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hear the Lord saying, To us this day. I've been your God. I chose you to dwell in my presence. I chose you for my name's sake. I chose you that you may be held with your eyes and with your spiritual heart those things that have never been thought about or been had. I chose that I can bring you out. Just like the way I brought the man of God, the man of faith, Abraham. And I gave him a new name because he believed in me. 
I changed his name to be Abraham. I hear the Lord saying, I've come. Indeed, that another part of your life that is known can be known. I have come that your history and the history of your people can be changed. I have come to be your God and for you to be my people. Today in the Vision Center, there is another book. There is another chapter for you. But I want to say it's not about Vision Center. It's about you as an individual. You as an individual. What we do here, we come and bring all celebrations and all that we hear. But greatly, we are here, brothers and sisters, as individuals that the Lord may change us and change our church, change our, change our nation, change our environment because we believe. Father, as your servant, lift up your hands. I lift our Father, my hands to your children upon this altar. While many people, Lord, our Father offended in life for things that happened to all of us, a drought come. And our Father, Lord, we cry as a people who have no faith, we want to be delivered. Precious Lord, God Almighty, situation happens even where we were born, we found situations. Yet our Father and our God, we live in the same situations. Precious, this word is not about where we are. It's not about our Father God, the title we have or we don't have. It's not about where we stay or we don't stay. Because our Father, we know some of us could be in a splendid place, but yet, Lord, our Father, we are crying. Some of us are in state, some of us are stateless, we are still crying. Some of us are poor, some of us are rich, we are still crying. But there's a place, oh God, where you lift us up. Oh God, where your name, our Father, Lord, our Father becomes part of our name and we are changed and we are transformed, oh God Almighty. This is the praise, our Father, God, you have brought us, oh God. And so, Father, Lord, I pray that each one of us will enter a new path. Each of us, Lord Almighty, will open a new page of their life. And people, our Father, who may have known us, will lead another page about us, Lord. There is another new book, our Father, that will be led and be written about us, Lord, from this day. In the name of Jesus, oh God Almighty, there is another dispensation that we have not entered. We are entering in a time like now. So, Lord, I release that grace. I release that grace of newness. I release that grace of our Father, Lord, our Father of God of continuation. I release that grace of our Father, Lord, of faith and going along, our Father. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray there will be testimonies of what you have done in this place from this day in Jesus' name. And everybody say it. You could be here this afternoon and you're saying, Bishop Mbatia, I do not have a relationship with God. Indeed, the name of the Lord, I have not called upon that name. Today, you can have a very special moment of saying, I'm not just going to walk alone. I'm not just going to live like an ordinary man. I want a relationship with the Lord. It comes by knowing that you are a sinner, you are inadequate by yourself. Hawezi ukiwa peke yako unamwambia baba Mungu naja mbele zako nisamehe dhambi zangu zote ambao ninajua na zile sijui dhambi za wazazi na babu zangu baba nisamehe dhambi nifanye niwe kiume kipya nifanye niwe mwana wako hiyo ndio ungamo lile kubwa sana ambao ufungulia mtu maisha mengine kama vile Nicodemus alikuja kwa Yesu usiku akasema nitafanyaje nizaliwe mara ya pili Hiyo ndiyo inaanza maisha yako ya ushindi. Maisha yako ambao hakuna nafasi ya kutenda kinyume ya yale ambao ni mema maishani mwako. 
Utaweza kuinua mkono wako useme mchungaji niko hapa nataka mayo maombi. Are you there? I'll pray for you in Jesus name. Are you there? You want to receive Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. Are you there? In Jesus name. And everybody say it. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Amen. You can sit down with a smile. You are blessed and your life is changed in Jesus name. The Lord bless you. Shall we give our, the minister of the gospel a mighty hand clap, please? Thank you so much, Bishop. Thank you for blessing us.